Hey guys and welcome to the first video on how to animate in 3ds Max. Um, so because this is the first video it's going to be covering very simple techniques and just going to be manipulating and animating a box. Uh, we're going to be using auto key and auto key is a, a method that automatically places information on keys uh, based on how you manipulate the object in your viewport so if I select a box I'm just going to draw that box out it doesn't have to be perfect it's a pink box but hey let's leave that as that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how we can move this box from this position to this position just here so first of all I'm going to drag my my timeline slider. Make sure it's all the way to zero. I'm going to turn on Auto Key by selecting it, and you can see how there's a red outline around your viewport and this red bar along the timeline, which tells you that Auto Key is turned on. So you're basically in recording mode here, because any you know method that you manipulate this object is going to be recorded on this timeline. So if I drag my timeline slider all the way to frame 100 and then drag this object across notice on frame 0 and on frame 100 it's placed a key, a red key which is telling 3ds Max what the position information is so on frame 0 the position is there on frame 100 the position is there and if I hit this play icon, you can see how it's moving across. So that's you know your very first animation in 3D Max. So give yourself a pat on the back. Um, you know, more seriously, you can start to add different elements to this. So we can start adding keys in between. So if I go to frame 20, pull this up a little bit, frame 40, pull it down again, frame 60. Let's pull it up a little higher. Frame 80, yeah, it will start to come down anyway. Frame 90, let's go up one more time and then frame 100. So, what's going to happen is it's going to be kind of like this floaty kind of motion here, like so. So, if you had some sort of spaceship or any kind of odd object which may move like that, then you could do an animation like that. So that's kind of how to add more information from, from just moving from left to right. We're moving up and down as well. Now what you can also do is add rotation. So we can add rotation information. Rotation information. Well, that's a tongue twister. Um, so as we get to frame 20, I want to rotate this object. So there's an icon here which is angle snap toggle. So if you have that selected, what it's going to mean is it's going to let you rotate by five degree increments and that means you can be very precise with your rotation so if I go to 90 degrees on frame 20 as I've moved that you can see how the green keys have appeared so just to give you an idea of what these different colors mean red keys mean position so that's the position of the object green keys mean the rotation of the object and blue keys which aren't there yet but they will be in a little while once I add them means scale so the scale of an object so now here from 0 to 20 it's rotating so rotating that way I'm gonna go to frame 40 now I'm gonna rotate by 90 degrees again so it keeps spinning like so frame 60 I'm gonna rotate by 90 degrees again frame 80 by 90 degrees again So you can see I'm just going by 90 degrees each time. And let's have a look at the outcome. <coughs> so notice how the, the speed of the spin up the you know towards the beginning and towards the end is a lot quicker compared to how it is towards the middle, which is a lot slower. The reason for that is probably more towards the end it's a lot quicker, but the reason for that is because the keys are closer together towards the end see how they're only 10 frames apart 
it means the animation is going to be quicker because there's less frames for you to you know create that for the object to spin 90 degrees so there's only 10 frames whereas here there's 20 frames for the object to go 90 degrees so that's how you kind of you know change the speeds uh, of an object so moving on to there let's add scale in really quickly because I don't want this video to go on for too long I'm going to go to frame 20 I'm going to scale this up quite large and there, there you see it you see the blue really dark navy blue uh, keys appear so from frame 0 to 20 object spinning going up and scaling up and then going to frame 40 let's shrink that quite small frame 60 again let's go quite large frame 80 let's go small frame 90 let's go large and frame 100 let's go small again so let's play that so now we have you know not only position we have rotation and scale so it's going smaller bigger smaller bigger as well as spinning so although this animation isn't really doing anything in particular hopefully now you have an idea of how you can start adding not only position but rotate an object also scale an object and then we can kind of move on in the next uh, lot of tutorials on animating with a bit more precision uh, more advanced techniques as well so hopefully this was useful and uh, look forward to my next tutorials